Welcome back to Team O'Neill. I'm Wyatt. Last week, we shot an episode of Will It Rally with this Tacoma, and the biggest thing that was letting us down were the tires that this vehicle was equipped with. And that was just a factor of what it had on it when we bought the thing. Uh, and these are great tires, but for a real high performance driving application, it's just not what they were engineered for. So what we've done is fit a set of brand new Yokohama Geolander MTs. We've got whole videos on tires that are good for surfaces like this, but really what you're looking for is a much more open tread pattern, a nice square edge where the tread meets the sidewall, a reinforced sidewall, and thicker plies, and just a stiffer sidewall in general. So all we're gonna do real quick is take this around the Willet Rally Loop and see what it sets for a time, see what we can feel from the suspension and some of the other troubles we were having, what kind of an improvement these might be. We haven't changed anything else on this vehicle, so let's go hot and see what happens. Three, two, one, go. Oh, bad launch, bad launch. Second gear, third gear. A little bit of left foot brake coming in back to throttle. Getting into this, down into second gear. This whole deal tightens up all the way at the end. Ah, not the fastest line, but we'll take it third gear again. Right foot brake, downshift into second, neat and tidy through here. Get it turned early. It's a little bit of weight, a little bit of weight. Ooh, gotta get some speed back up over the crest definitely have more grip, still have a little bounce. Not a small amount of bounce. It's better, but not cured. Line, second gear out to third. Ooh, baby, back to second. Not gonna go faster through there. Like my butt's picking up off the seat. And it's not, not a comfortable feeling. One of the cameras just shut off, that's fine. Into here, right foot brake, get second gear, look through the turn. A little bit of left foot brake as it tightens. Go for that nice late apex line. I'm gonna leave it in second. Get it turned early, straight over the crest. Keep the suspension smooth as we can. Not doing a very good job of that. You can use your left foot on the brake to stiffen the suspension and also to load the suspension and preload it before and as you go over bumps, there's a lot you can do as a driver to smooth the ride out over rough terrain, especially if you're left foot braking. Okay, here we are. Third gear and find the stopwatch. Stuck on something, that's fine. Coming down the hill, here's the stop line. Finish. 159.78. So, at the end of the day, we managed to hustle this little Tacoma around our course in just a fraction of a second, under two minutes. Switching the tires made a huge difference, but it didn't completely alleviate all of our bounciness issues. So we're gonna definitely take a look at some heavier duty suspension for this truck moving forward. One of the easy ways to tell is just to go hot and then take a look at the tracks that you left. And in this case, you'll see there's entire stretches of road where the tires are leaving the ground and it's not over a jump or a crest or anything, it's just in a corner over a slight bit of a rise. There's no reason why your tires should be leaving the ground in these situations. It's probably unnecessary to say that the more your tires are on the ground, the more grip you're gonna have. The other side of that coin is the more the vehicle's bouncing and bounding in corners and rebounding, you as a driver are having to manage that with left foot braking and really slowing your speed down, you know? Otherwise, you're just gonna bounce and eject yourself off into the trees. Thank you, as always, for being here on this little adventure with us. If you're interested in this kind of stuff, definitely think about subscribing to the channel. Check out TeamO'Neill.com. Be safe, have a good one, and we'll catch you next time.